it's not working. It's not working. Hey y'all. So yeah, you read right. It's not clickbait. Somebody hit my car. Again. This is the third time for this car, I think. I think it's the second time. Second time since I've had this car. So boom. There it is. So my door will barely open. I got all this stuff in my hand because they're coming to pick it up. Yeah, so I was going into a parking lot and a guy was bagging out of his parking spot and just boom completely hit me the boys were in the back but they were okay um i was okay just extremely annoyed <sighs> because i was actually getting ready to get rid of this car to get um i want a toyota so like ever since we had that car in um la y'all why did i fall in love with that car <laughs> I completely fell in love with that car because of the gas mileage. Y'all saw how much we were driving in LA. And when I tell you that gas needle like did not move, I'm like, what is this? Like what type of car, what is this using, vibranium? And so I told her, I'm like, I want this car. Like the gas needle, it was just so good on gas. It was a Toyota something. I don't know. I forget, Deron knows what it was, but I want it. This car is just, it's horrible on gas, y'all. I mean, just horrible. I'm filling it up like every other day. So I was in the process of getting rid of it because I want something just a little bit more gas efficient. This light is broke. Um, all of that, this is shifted. At first I was like, I don't think they're gonna say it's totaled. Um, I thought it was kind of minor, but like as I'm looking at it, it's actually pretty bad and they just might say it's total. I don't know. They're on their way to pick it up now. Um, and we'll just see what they say. Like I said, I do think it's total. Um, and if so, whatever, but yeah. Oh, I need to get my garage door opener out of there. <sighs> but not letting that ruin my day. Right now, I'm about to make me a green smoothie. And I'm going to try a new cookie. Y'all know that cookie that um I had in LA? I don't know if I showed y'all. I may have just showed me showed um on my stories. But there was a cookie, it was like a um a stuffed chocolate chip cookie and it was stuffed with Oreo. Um I'm gonna try that and see if I can add that to my list of options. I'm about to make me a green smoothie. This is almond milk, my whey protein up there, my multi-collagen protein. This has nine. So I got my spinach, banana, then it's only half a banana. Put a little strawberries in it just for some flavor. Get rid of the, the spinach taste because to be honest, I gag a little when I taste the spinach. Yeah, because it's just not <laughs> it's not good. I mean let's be real. And then I'm going to do a dollop. Oh wow. I don't think I will be doing a dollop because there's nothing in here. Maybe I can get a dollop out of here. So I'm gonna do a dollop, which is really about a tablespoon. And enjoy my smoothie, which is pretty much just my post shake. This is a post workout shake. And wait for them to come pick up my baby. There goes Pearl on her way to the hospital. Till we meet again, Pearl. It's your birthday today. <laughs> <laughs> it's your birthday today, big boy. Why are you acting like you holding something in your mouth? What you got in your mouth? Open your mouth. Nothing. You just like tricking me. Boy, how old are you? Mm -hmm. Five. Three. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go tell brother happy birthday. Uh oh, I think we hear him. <gasps> Happy.
Happy birthday, Stefan! Huh? Happy birthday, Stefan! You're three years old today. <laughs> yeah, Stefan was sleepwalking last night. He was sleepwalking. <sighs> like two o'clock in the morning, calling my name, saying that it's dark. But then when I took him back to his room, he went right to sleep. So that's how I know he was just sleepwalking. Sit down, Tom Tom. What are you doing? Uh, oh no! Hey, Papa. what do you want to eat for breakfast for your birthday? My beans. My beans. Oh, cookie monster. <laughs> cookie monster. You, how you gonna eat cookie monster for breakfast? <laughs> what do you want to eat for breakfast? My beans. Oh, what's wrong with your feet? Let me see. You being silly. You want okay. eggs? Yes. Uh oh. You say no. Tom Tom say yes. You want pancakes? Yes. No. 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 Oh, okay. You gonna go with whatever your brother say? Mm -hmm. You want toast? No. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. You want cereal? No. You want cereal, Tom Tom? No. Okay, Tony, I want cereal. <laughs> no. He said no. No, he don't want juice either. No. 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 He don't want anything. Pack and pack. Yeah. Tony, step fine. Get down. Cause you too close to the edge. Crazy. Crazy. Huh? Why are you scratching his back? <laughs> You're so sweet. Break off. Say, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. What are you doing? I can scratch. <laughs> you scratching my back? Thank you, baby. My back is itchy, too. I think I'm allergic to detergent. Because, like, all of my clothes have been really itchy. So... Um, I see Tide has a new plant-based um, detergent, which I ain't gonna lie. I always thought that type of stuff was a little bit extra because, you know, they have a lot of brands that's coming out about their plant-based detergent and plant-based cleaning products. And I'm like, okay, that's... But now I think I gotta use it because my skin has been so itchy for my clothes. I, think, I don't think I can use like regular detergent anymore. So I'm going to see if I can find some today. If I can get a rental car, hopefully. Late night. We are at Chocolate and Art. I got Deron doing some hippie stuff with me tonight. We're going to look at some art and enjoy the <laughs> on our fingers. Oh, we should do like the rain tattoo. I like that. But basically, it's like a chocolate and art exhibit. And you get to have like free chocolate, listen to live music, look at art. There's going to be like live um, painting going on. So I thought that would be cool. Such a vibe. It's kind of cool, y'all. These artists are amazing.
as you can see, the shenanigans have started quite early. Stop, Stefan. Ain't nothing wrong with you. This one, on the other hand, he wants me to sit on the couch. Antonio is not feeling too well. Um, all of a sudden has a cold again. Yeah, let me just turn the light off. So that's what he wants me to do. He wants me to sit on the couch with him. And he scraped his knees at the park today. Let me. Okay, go sleep. Okay, so that literally took like five minutes to put him to sleep. So, y'all see how lit he is? Yes, it is here. Okay, so I posed a question on my. I posed a question on my social media, and I asked about melatonin. Like if any, if any moms use melatonin because y'all so Stefan is going through this phase. Let me turn down the TV. I need to talk to y'all. So Stefan is going through this phase where he's like waking up in the middle of the night. Um he's like waking up at one, two o'clock, screaming my name. Just just waking up. I don't at first I thought he was having bad dreams. Um but now I don't know. And now he's just getting to the point to where he can stay up later and later. Like last night, he tried to pretty much stay up until like 11.30. The thing is, he'll stay up late, but he sleeps in. Like this boy will wake up at like maybe 9.30. So that's one thing I said I'm going to change. Tony wakes up around 7. And so... You know, he's usually sleeping when it's time to go to bed. He'll stay up if Stefan is up. What I'm going to do is, for one, start making him wake up a little earlier. Tony on nap was at 1 today, and it was only 45 minutes. <laughs> Stefan nap was at 2, so that's another thing. I'm going to change their nap time to being a little earlier. Because they were on that schedule when they were with my parents. So, I'm going to make their nap schedule a little earlier. But I asked you moms on social media about melatonin. Because I feel like this is just a phase that he's going through. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to need it for long. I just need him to get out of this two week phase that he's been in of waking up in the middle of the night and then he he says it's because he's afraid of the dark or he'll like say oh i got bugs in my bed and we'll look and it's like there's no bug in your bed so i don't know if he's dreaming or what i saw on tv i saw on tv um and a couple of people responded the zarbies melatonin and i got it today from Walmart, and we are going to go ahead and test drive this baby out. My biggest fear is that, you know how your body produces serotonin. So, I don't want to give this to him every night because I want him to not depend on it. I don't want his body to chemically depend on it. So, you know, melatonin is natural and all, but, like... He is just height. Move. So let's see. Does it make you sleepy? It does. He is such a kidder. He is just a jokester by nature. Tonio is out. He's out for like a number of reasons though. The fact that he wakes up early. He took an early nap today at like 1 o'clock and woke up at 1.45. Um, and then since he has this, this random cold, I gave him some Zarbies nighttime. So he is out like a light. Like a light. Like a light. 
Like, you're like, see, I'm, I'm the reason why you came. No, we're not doing that. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure I don't accidentally have them. Is it good? Yes. Yes, it's good. Okay. We didn't even get a chance to say our prayers. Let's go get our book. We've been trying to teach them. So since they turned three, um, we make them say their prayer their prayers now. They have a little prayer book. Um Tony fell asleep and he can't get on his knees since he scraped his knees. Daddy, it's daddy, daddy, it's daddy. I don't sleep. How do you sleep? Let's go say our prayers. A few moments later. Yo, it's not working. It's not working. It's 9.50. An hour and a half and it's not working. He fell asleep and then 10 minutes later woke up.